GRPS students demonstrated today against the district's new policy banning backpacks. The district made the change after a third grader brought a loaded gun yesterday to Stocking Elementary. We continue our team coverage tonight. We'll begin with News 8's Kyle Mitchell, who's live with what students, parents, and the district are saying. Brian, we spoke with a student who organized a protest here at Innovation Central High School. She says the district has other options to address school safety. A line of students demanded change from the sidewalk of Innovation Central High School. They made kind of a rash decision to ban backpacks and other bags from our school. Nola DeGroft helped put the protest together. She's concerned about safety, but says the GRPS no backpack policy goes too far. It's been um, rough on our students. We had a lot of kids late today. She wants the district to consider other options like clear backpacks or metal detectors. People are feeling very like um, kind of vulnerable like because we're having our privacy and our security taken away. Um, we can't, you know, um, properly carry things. City High Middle School also had a protest with more than 150 students circling the building. The policy change came after a third grader brought a loaded gun on Wednesday to Stocking Elementary. This is the fourth gun GRPS has found this school year. I don't even know what to say about it. I, I just, you know, I hope the parents are, are seeing this and, you know, taking more care and, and you know, paying attention. Deanna Groff is proud of her daughter for organizing the protests outside Innovation Central High School. I think that the students have every right to feel concerned and like their their rights aren't being considered. I do think that the school made a decision based on what happened that they thought was best for the students. Um, I think it's a really tough situation for everyone. Small bags are allowed for personal hygiene products along with lunch boxes and musical instruments in their cases. The district maintains that bags can be searched if needed. GRPS says it's looking at a long-term solution to address public safety. And we are certainly not happy uh, to have our kids needing to come to school without uh, a backpack. That's not something that we see as a long-term or sustainable option. But right now, that's what we're doing to ensure the safety of our scholars in the immediate uh, aftermath of these incidents that we've had. The district says the policy is expected to continue through the end of the school year. Live in Grand Rapids, Kyle Mitchell, News 8. Okay, Kyle. Now we want to go to News 8's Taylor Morris. She heard from the state's attorney general, Dana Nessel, who met with district leaders this afternoon. The attorney general said it's by educating and enforcing that changes will be made. She also touched on safe storage gun laws, which will go into effect sometime next year. Now, the main takeaway from today's conversation was just to have conversations with parents about locking their weapons up. When it comes to the backpack ban, Larry Johnson said the first day went well. There's also been questions about metal detectors and clear backpacks, which the district says they are looking over all options to keep kids safe. The superintendent called these incidents a health crisis for students in the district. Since the beginning of the year, four guns have been confiscated from students at the elementary and middle school level. During today's meeting, Larry Johnson showed the gun that was found on the seven-year-old student last week at Cesar Chavez. Well, I, what I'm going to say is that when a, when a child, when a child finds this in a dresser drawer at home, it is very difficult for them not to pick that up and put it in their book bag. So we're going to work with our families uh, so we can eliminate stuff like this from coming into our buildings, but more importantly, eliminate these from getting on the streets in the city of Grand Rapids to make our community safer. Well, kids have enough on their plate, right? They have enough issues to deal with. The last thing they need to deal with uh, is the trauma that's associated with a gun in the school especially one brought by some a child so young. I mean, it's it's really concerning that, you know, a third grader can get their hands on a gun so easily. The district also wants parents and guardians to know that they will be having a community safety forum on May 20th at the GRPS University. Sue, Brian, back to you guys. Okay, we'll have more on that. Taylor, thank you. 
As Taylor mentioned, GRPS is planning to hold a community safety forum. It's next Saturday on May 20th. It will be held at GRPS University. We do have more information about that event for you online. Just go to woodtv.com.